Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Psycho Gold. This is Psycho Gold Videos. Today we're going to be checking out a Dragon Ball video. Yes, we haven't done a Dragon Ball video for a while and there are plenty of them out there. Now, I actually thought I was too late to this particular party. I saw the videos go live. I've been meaning to check them out for ages, but time just kept passing. And I really didn't think I was going to be able to check out Mastar Media's Broly fan-made animations he's done as based on the upcoming live action film. Now, I was pretty much ready to just watch them because I was like, there's no point in doing a reaction now. There's, there's been too much time has passed. Um, but then, just literally as I was about to check them out, I noticed I got a notification saying that they'd been put together as a one whole video. And I was like, great. And then I noticed that it was in an English dub. And I was like, oh, this is sounding really good. So I went and looked up the cast uh, because it's in the description. And I was curious whether or not this was... When it's an English dub, does it mean it's like, you know, spliced together from voice clips? But no, all of these voices are original. They're being done by what appears to be mostly YouTubers. And one of which is someone who I'm subscribed to and I think is absolutely fantastic. And it is Devil Artemis. He does a really, really good sell. But in this, he is voicing both Broly and Frieza. And his Frieza voice sounds really good. I'm not sure if I've ever heard his Broly voice before. So this could be really interesting to hear. I mean... Traditionally speaking, Broly doesn't really have a whole lot of dialogue, but I believe that this upcoming film is going to actually change that anyway. So we'll have to see how much dialogue there is in Mastar Media's version. Now I must state, for those of you who are confused, what you're about to see and what I'm about to see is not the Broly official film. Because there seems to be lots of people in the comment section on his video confused about this. This is a video that him... Him? This is a video that he has made. It's a fan-made animation, but it's really high quality. We saw the trailer for it a while back, and he looked friggin' amazing. And at long last, I am going to finally check out the completed animation with the added bonus that I have not seen this at all. But I'm now going to get to see it with dubbed voiceovers that have been done by the community. And I think that's going to be friggin' fantastic. So well done to everybody involved. Without further ado, let's watch. Broly. Three, two, one, go. Broly. Kakarot! It's pretty much all I ever remember him saying. Master Media. The following video is owned and created by... That's pretty much what that says, I think. Oh, there you go. This video is a fan animation, a tribute to Dragon Ball, and is made for entertainment purposes. Oh, my lord, I can't say that one that quick. Oh, it's made by the fans for the fans. That's me. That's you. Just pretend. Oh, okay. I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of flashing lights in this animation. Oh. Oh. Okay. We have logos like it's a sponsored. Produced, written, and directed and animated. Oh. Okay. I'm not going to keep reading that because we're going straight in, lads. Holy shizney! Okay. Voice of Broly, Broly and Freezer, yeah, Devil Artemis. That looked like Dragon Ball Z. Like that really looked like something that you saw from the trailer. Damn, Master, you are just getting better and better with every. Uh... <laughs> Look at the lighting and the shadows and the way it's all. Okay, I'm in love with this animation already, and it's barely started. Oh, they sense the power level. Oh, his eyes! What is this key? Just as I was finally about to win our match. <laughs> have to finish this later, Vegeta. This could be bad. Let's go. I like the uh, I like the the Goku voice. We'll have to hear more of the Vegeta. Unfortunately, I think we all got spoiled by a bridged Vegeta. <laughs> Anyone else who voices Vegeta now is hard competition. Okay, so obviously that's Freezer's ship. <laughs> okay, need a little Power Ranger flip to enter. Okay. Okay. 
Well, I don't know this saying, but he's probably way too weak to even begin to rifle us. Referring to me. Oh! That voice! Damn! And now his name has escaped me. I want to call him Pegasus, but that's not it. Parasus? Something like that. So this is him. I've never seen him before. He's suppressing his key. I like... He's far from ordinary, Kakarot. I like the Vegeta voice, but there's something about... It sounds like he's talking with an accent. Maybe maybe he's not natively English. I don't know. There's something about it that sounds a bit odd. But, my lord, the animation is... It, I really, really dig the, the drawings, the animation. The lighting work. Okay. Broly's uh, waking up. Oh, that looks so cool. Alrighty then, let's go! <laughs> oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes. I like the looks of this. Okay. <laughs> Get them, Broly. Whoa! Damn, he just caught it for once, Broly. Broly? Vegeta doesn't look like a fool. Okay, no, I like the Vegeta voice. It just takes a little bit to warm up. The Broly screams are on point, Devil Artemis. I freaking love you, Broly. Oh, he's gone Super Saiyan. Oh, now he's gone SS2. And that didn't do anything, did it? Ho, 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 Oh, that was so good. This is just like watching an episode. I I can still tell it's fan made, but honestly, <laughs> facial expression. Honestly, it's so good. I this could easily just be watching an episode. It looks better than some episodes of Super, that's for sure. That Broly voice though. That, that, oh, he has that perfect little dark hiss I like from villains. Oh, look at the damage he's doing. The destruction and the carnage. Oh, he did the same thing he did to Vegeta a moment ago. Oh. Yeah. He's been toying with us from the start. If he goes Super Saiyan, we'll be in trouble. And I don't think we've even seen a glimpse of his real strength. Which means he's a gifted abomination of power. <laughs> okay, you're quite the gifted abominations of power. Just because he has power, is no need to bring up the abomination word. It seems he's quite too much for the both of you. As I expected, my son's power for His voice is awesome. I don't know if, if that's natural. My god, dude. My god. I cannot go that deep for that length of time. Okay. Could it be? I thought the god form was just a myth. Seeing Super God Vegeta is freaking awesome. I'm trying really hard not to swear. That aura on Vegeta looks so damn cool. I really, really hope we get to see that in the real film. Um. Going back to the cr credits, that was so well done, guys. Oh, look at them go! It's a double team! <laughs> yes, look at that shot! That's the that's thumbnail right there. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. The Is it just me, or has the art style suddenly drastically changed? Did he just change into blue to deliver that punch and then swap down to red? Because he did that when he was on, um... Nice! Double shot. So he did that in the Universe of Power, didn't he? No, the Tournament of Power. Get it right. Yeah, it's changing art styles. I'm guessing this was made by several different people then. Yeah, as cool as it was to see the Double Attack of the God form, it didn't really achieve a lot, did it? Broly is just... It's not over yet. They've got another god form to go. <laughs> I'd love to see this version of Broly go up against Jiren if they're gonna if he's gonna be this stupidly powerful in the film as well. 
That's a cool shot. Yeah. And technically Vegeta has got another another form. Yeah, that's definitely Broly. We have to go all out of full power. No more holding back. So here comes the Kaioken and the Ultra Form. <laughs> oh, that's so Yes! Kaioken! <laughs> go on. I wanna really wanna see what the Ultra Form looks like from these dudes. Ah, oh, that deep blue looks so much better than the light blue. I love it. Oh, okay. Oh, he can just draw auras so well. I love the glow on these guys. Red, blue, it doesn't matter. Oh, that means Broly's green aura when it eventually comes out to play is going to look fantastic. I really, really like that. That looks so cool. Yes, seeing the two different auras next to each other is great. Admittedly, it does look like it puts a hell of a lot less strain on Vegeta uh, than Goku's form does on himself, because obviously the Kaioken is really, really strenuous. Time to go up a power level. Oh my lord, look at him inflate! Here comes the green aura! This is the moment we've been waiting for. The destruction of him transforming. <laughs> and this is to go even further beyond! <laughs> Oh my god, look at that! That is not a face you want to meet in a dark alley. <laughs> okay, that looks freaking cool. I'm betting that was the end of part one, and now this is part two. If we were watching them as two separate videos. Yeah. Oh, he's just a juggernaut! Look at him go! Oh, but those two aren't exactly pushovers either! Oh, he's parrying every single move. Just clap from the speed! So that's the thing that makes me laugh when people say that the Dragon Ball characters, you know, they should fight X, Y, and Z. It's like people seem to forget that everything you're seeing and nine times out of ten in Dragon Ball is like and there's like an entire episode has passed. Like their speed is insane. Oh what was that? He was power he was powering something up then, and Vegeta just came along and just Nope! <laughs> Yep. So Vegeta currently is what he's just said is stronger than Goku, I think. Apart from the fact that Broly is still ridiculously OP. Yeah, that instant transmission though. Still one of the best moves in Goku's arsenal. Here it comes! Oh, he didn't say it. He didn't say it. Oh! But he said his! Ah, oh, they're teaming up together! It won't be enough, but they, you know, it looks cool. Oh! He didn't block it or deflect it! He just tanked it! <laughs> no, they haven't beat him, don't you worry. Broly's power is maximum! <laughs> Off comes that collar! Now, the real fight begins. Oh, this is the shot from the trailer that we saw. They've recreated it. That's brilliant. For him just rising. He needs... Oh, and there is operatic sort of choir music playing in the background. You know it's time to get serious when the shirts come off. <laughs> okay. Yep, yep, definitely very powerful, Freezer. You might want to go golden and step in and help him out. <laughs> I would love to know how the Earth is still standing after fights like this. You think that is there anywhere left on Earth that isn't just a cracked rubble wreck? Oh, there's that glow, that glow. Oh, that shot though. So, <laughs> come. So he's basically confirming there that uh, he's saying he's stronger than Jiren. Oh my lord! Oh, Vegeta, I'm so sorry for your pain. 
But at least it wasn't in the deck. <laughs> Jesus! How, are there any mountains left now for them to wreck? Ah, oh, Broly is just so OP. But he hasn't used his uh, his signature little green ball attack yet. I wonder if they'll keep that in the film. Oh dear. I knew he was strong, but this is far more than I ever imagined. Well then, I better get out of here before it gets dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> you coward, Frieza. <laughs> oh, don't worry, it's still there. Many, many people have underestimated Vegeta, especially in the Tournament of Power, and it didn't end well for them. But of course, there is another form that Goku has that I'm now wondering if it's about to show itself, since it looks like he's uh, definitely going to need it. Going to need some of that Ultra Instinct, yo. <laughs> oh no, he knocked him out of his God form. Oh, he's just beating on him now. Oof. Those are some damn resilient teeth. Saiyan teeth is what I need, man. <laughs> they never get knocked out in any of their fights. Oh, dude. Come on, V. I need to call him Vegeta then. Come on, Goku. It's time to awaken that roaring power within you. As much as I would like to see Vegeta uh, have a really good fight with Broly in the film. I pretty much imagine this is exactly what's going to happen when we watch it. Oh! Right next to each other. This is the finishing blow. Here it comes. Now we might get that signature attack of Broly. It's so well done, man. There are some shots where if it wasn't for that big Mass Style logo and a couple of really odd shots that came in and some of the fights. Like, look at that! Like, you could easily just sit back and forget that you're watching what is essentially a YouTube video. Oh, there we go. And now, and now you die. Oh! Okay. Oh, that Broly laugh is so good. But I don't think it's over yet, Broly. Yup. <laughs> Here come. Yeah, knew it. The Ultra Instinct Aura, oh my good god, look at that. Because Goku's shirt is off now too. <laughs> Here he comes! <laughs> Although very, very slowly. Even though it looked like he was moving at like light speed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's this trade-off from the original Broly film. Hopefully it won't be over in one punch. Yeah, look at that. The earth is literally shaking under the sheer weight of those two. Okay. Good planet. Oh, they're trying to outmuscle each other. I really don't think Ultra Instinct's gonna lose Broly. No, it isn't. He can't touch him now. The difference in speed is like, he can't even see him anymore. Oh, that's so well animated. Oh, I need to start watching more Dragon Ball videos. Yeah. Oh, look at Broly go! Oh, and we've just changed art styles again. Oh! That looked painful. <laughs> the almighty boot to the face. <laughs> it is a bit jarring, though, when the art style drastically changes. Oh, that looked like it hurt. The skin tone on Broly's face compared to his body, is it just me or does sometimes it not look consistent? Only in some shots, like there it looked fine, but other times it's really, really brighter. Oh my god, Goku is just going ham on him. He's paying him back for all of those punches he just put on Vegeta. Oh, is this it or... <laughs> Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I can't lend a hit. Nope, you can't. Uh-oh. Oh! Whoa! Okay. Yep. Oh. And Goku's like, Bring it on. <laughs> oh, that looks good. I love the glowing eyes when Broly's eyes properly light up. I mean, the, the golden pupil effect is really nice as well, but 
when they just glow completely, it looks so good. Oh, he looks so serious. He ain't gonna run, dude. I'm sensing a Kamehameha wave. I'm sensing a Kamehameha wave. Yep. Oh, he actually said it too! I thought he was just gonna say Kamehameha, but apparently not. Oh! Oh, he destroyed it! Nice! I thought he was gonna have a, a battle. But no, he just took it out in one go. That just shows you how much more powerful Ultra Instinct Goku is, man. Oh, crap. Broly's behind you. Oh! Damn! He outplayed him! Wow! Yeah! Dude, he's gonna crush you! Vegeta! Get your ass up! It's your turn to tag him! <laughs> oh! My god, he did! Oh! He looks pissed! He has the Ultra Instinct eyes! No way! Master Media, have you beautiful bastard? Are you just about to give us UI Vegeta? Those attacks didn't hit him. No. And the music as well. Yes! <laughs> oh, this is going to be therapeutic. <laughs> Ah, oh, the music just goes so well with Vegeta's face, seeing... Go on. Transform. Transform and claim your birthright! <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, Broly. That's like... Damn! Oh, okay! That, uh... That's the complete mastered Ultra Instinct form that we saw at the end of Super. He looks like a friggin' demon, man! I love it! <laughs> Woo! That... I, I... I... I've run out of ways to describe this. <laughs> oh my lord, that just looks so cool! Oh, and now he's got the proper UI form. Damn! Yes, he did. Your limits yet again. You finally caught back up to me. <laughs> Any transformation you can do, Kakarot, I can do better. Yes. I just needed the worthy opponent to unlock the ultimate Saiyan power. Exactly. He's strong, but there's no way he can take us both. Stay out of this, Kakarot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Vegeta's got this. Oh, that was such a nice clone mover. Oh. Wait a minute, his hair has gone like white instead of silver. Is that because it merged with his SS Blue Ultra form? <laughs> Shinna! Okay. Whoa. I love, I love that. Wait a minute, did Frieza just save him? He did. Why the hell did he save him? Now, now, don't kill my warrior. It would be wrong to destroy him. He hasn't killed anyone. Let me train him, and we can return for a rematch. Oh! What the hell? The intention to kill with that much power. He's right. They haven't killed anyone. Let them fight another day. No, I don't think Vegeta will. He's gonna do what you never bloody do, Kakarot. Oh yes, he would. <laughs> Yes! Final Atomic Shine! Oh, what a name! What a move! Look at that thing! It's 
Please tell me he just killed Freezer and Broly in one go. Oh! I did not expect that. That's it! That's Special thanks to all of our animators and voice actors who joined in to help and make this video for you guys. Ah, I couldn't have done it there you go. Different anime. Oh, my voice animation was in on this. I thought some of that stuff looked like yours, dude. He, uh, he made up my YouTube banner and some stuff for my Twitch as well. One day, one day I will get back to him and he will also make me a really cool YouTube video. But I need just a little bit more security financially before I can actually do that. But, uh... Wow, that ending. <sighs> I need I need a break. <laughs> so yeah, that was Broly. And I'm very, very, very impressed by what I just watched. I loved that. No, let me try that again. I absolutely loved that particular video. Um I, it completely, completely exceeded my expectations. Everybody on my Discord was telling me to go and watch it, especially my admin, Seance. Um, he's Trap King here on YouTube, I think. So if you see Trap King, comment down below. That's who I'm talking about. And uh, oh my god, oh my god. I, I loved that so much. I'll probably go and watch it myself in the Japanese original. But the fact that, that he got some actors together to dub it into English is absolutely insane. The last video I watched of Master Media. Master himself commented down the bottom to tell me to check out Anime War. If you're watching this one as well though, dude, first of all, this is absolutely frigging insane. Like, you are the closest anyone has ever come to making me do the typical reactor thing of taking my headphones off and getting up to my imaginary doorway where I walk out because it's so epic. But I resisted the urge because I want to talk about this. Yeah, if you're watching this, my god, that was absolutely insane and I will definitely be checking out Anime War when I come back from MCM uh, this weekend because after watching that I am gonna like binge your entire catalogue. I also have UHD animation videos to catch up on and now that I'm back in a Dragon Ball mood I think it's finally time that I uh, watch and catch up with Dragon Ball Heroes so it's time to bring Dragon Ball back baby! <laughs> but as for this video itself this was absolutely fantastic. I I don't know what else I can say about it that I didn't already spew uh, during the actual video itself. I thought the animation of the majority of it was on point. There were a couple of little bits that I didn't really think fit. But it wasn't that they were bad, it was just that they were so jarringly different from what we had just got used to. The first time that the animation changed mid-fight, it really, really, really felt off. But only because it's such high quality. Like... Any of the art styles that we watched would look incredible on their own, but I really struggled with the fact that they kept changing and, and it was it, it it wasn't, but it felt choppy as a result because it kept changing um, animators and obviously because it was different animators, they were drawing them slightly differently. Overall, I thought that it kept a very good consistency for the majority, but there were two points in particular where I thought that they, they could have done with another pass over maybe. One point in particular where they like changed to just seeing an arm punch and the arm really, really, really didn't look anything like the arm that we'd literally just seen in the previous frame. And other than that, I thought that overall it did it was a fantastic job. Um, and obviously, like I said in a previous video, I can't do 2D animation for love nor money. My uh, only real skill was ever in 3D animation. And yes, I have a PC powerful enough to do it, but I haven't done it in so long that the I don't have a clue what I could do these days, to be completely honest with you. Hang on. So yeah, I just got up to go and grab this dude because I think it's safe to say that this guy was without a doubt the star of this particular short. Um, even though Broly and Goku definitely had an excellent fight during the video itself, um, I think uh, the bit I'm going to remember probably for the rest of the week is the ending with Vegeta getting Ultra Instinct and actually doing what most of us wish would just happen in the show, which is taking the star from Goku and finishing off Frieza and finishing off Broly properly without giving them a chance to come back. And he used a ridiculously cool new signature move that I really, really, really hope somehow I can one day use in a video game. 
but I'm sure it will never happen. But I love the animation that went into that moment where he just stomped on the ground and kicked up all of the debris and threw his arms out as if he was going to do a final flash. But then he did that special ultra something or other and that was friggin awesome it was easily one of the best animated sections of the video and the fact that he told goku to shut the f up was just icing on the cake that was amazing if it wasn't for this guy we wouldn't have been able to make any of that happen so thank you vegeta thank you in all seriousness though that was probably one of my favorite fan animated videos i think i've ever watched um, and there are some really, really good contenders out there. I know there's another Dragon Ball one that people were talking about a while back. Is it Deliverance? Um, so I might have to go and look that one up as well. But seriously, dude, if you're watching this, I can't give you enough props. And anyone who hasn't seen either the Japanese original two parts, they will be linked in the description below along with this video that I've reacted to, which is the uh, connected cut with English dub. And... Yeah, I just don't know what more you could ask from what is essentially a free product that no money was exchanged to make. Um, this is absolutely insane to think that all of this was done just for the passion of the Dragon Ball community and I friggin love it. Um, I'm actually surprised that DB Geek hasn't covered this yet with the English dub. I think he looked at the Japanese videos but I know that he'll lose his friggin mind over this as well because he's a Vegeta fan same as I am and honestly the rest of the video is just a blur to me, but that seeing Vegeta get his moment and I love the power up sequences. The way you draw auras is actually fantastic and the way your entire team of animators came together and did those auras and did those attack moves were just brilliant. That video has got me hyped for the actual film and I just hope that uh, when I come to review that film that I don't end up sitting here saying so if you want to see a good version of what that film was supposed to be, <laughs> head on over to Mastar Media's page because I really, really hope that the film has some epic moments just like this video did. And yeah, I don't know what more to say about this video, dudes. It was just insanely good. Please go and throw yourselves at Mastar Media's page. He is uh, a ridiculously big YouTuber at this point. He has over a million subscribers now and he deserves each and every one of them. And I really, really, really look forward to checking out the rest of your work and seeing what you have coming on the horizon, my friend. But I'm afraid that that's all I've got time for for this particular video because I have many, many more that I'm going to try and do before I leave for Comic-Con. Doesn't mean you'll see them all before I go to Comic-Con, but it will at least alleviate my ridiculous filming schedule when I come back because I'll need to do Goblin Slayer, Gridman, something else I haven't said yet. And that time I got reincarnated as a slime before I've even walked in the door. So, yeah, next Monday is going to be good fun. In the worst kind of way, but in a good kind of way, because obviously it's good, because I've got so much things to watch, because it's such a good time to be interested in entertainment media. <laughs> anyway, guys, don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up. Drop some comments down below letting me know what you thought of it. Don't forget to head over to the original video and throw your love at it as well. And as always, if you're new around here, don't forget to click the subscribe button. We do mm, not really post daily at the moment, but we're posting pretty consistently. Um, though it will be uh, affected this weekend. Uh, you'll still get my Hero Academia on Thursday and Sunday. I will schedule them in advance. But other than that, I'm probably going to try and not go crazy because some videos are already falling behind. Uh, for YouTube, Bob Psycho hasn't had a video for a few days, and for Patreon, um, pretty much everything I'm doing is falling behind, so I'm gonna hopefully recharge over the weekend. I think Comic Con is gonna be the, the break that I need, and then when I come back, I can just binge everything that I've not been able to get done watching wise, and then I'll just have a ton of stuff to edit, which means I can chill with music, edit, and just get it all done for you guys. But I'm going to try and get some things done before I go as well, so that uh, you guys don't really notice that I'm even gone. <laughs> anyway, dudes, that concludes this particular video. Thank you very much for sticking with me to the end, and I will see you in my next video. This is Psycho Gold signing out.